Melissa, go to the other side. Okay. Can use the ramp. What's going on, y'all? Snick with Bear Family Farms today. I wanted to show you guys this uh, double deck sheep and goat hauler we've been working on. Uh, we've been wanting one of these for for a while now. It's just they're so crazy expensive. Um, we priced them about north of twenty thousand dollars for a uh, aluminum double deck, sort of like this. This is a twenty-four foot gooseneck. Uh, we bought the shell itself for uh, five thousand five thousand dollars, and then we've by the time we paint it and all the other stuff we've done to it will be just south of 10,000. So more than half off. Took uh, probably all together two and a half days worth of tinkering with. But just wanted to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it takes two hands to uh, get that off. But uh, basically what it is, that's just a three inch purlin that I rubbed it on there. And it just slides open and closed. Uh, this back panel here is uh, hard, you know, it ain't going nowhere. And this is the actual sliding portion of the gate. Uh, we actually used this this past weekend to move all the goats uh, into the working pen. And we got them all sorted. So I need to give it a good power wash. All these boards up here are new. Uh, and then I've got mat for it. But I want to get it painted before I put the mat down. Uh, that way the bottom deck isn't getting pissed on. Uh, some of the boards in the bottom were rotted out. We got them replaced. I think they're still... And here's the bottom deck here. Uh, basically what we did was we just took some rod. We kind of made our own hinged gate. Uh, it's just a 7 8 rod. Well, actually that's a 3 quarter inch rod. And then the, it's a 7 8 bolt there that we tacked on there. And then this, our long nut I guess you can call it and then we just tack this nut on to keep it from falling through the top and then it just opens up with this little latch and then it just swings wide open and bottom deck goes in uh, I've got a piece of square tubing there in the front and then those two back pole the two middle poles are two and three-eighths poles just kind of holding up that middle part of that upper deck and then in the back I got a piece of 2x2 two two angle iron for another support beam. I didn't really need it um, but I put it there just to be safe uh, but yeah and then the ramp here it kind of just I actually do need to do some modifications there the goats didn't really want to go up the ramp too much because they could see through that expanded metal when they thought that they were going to fall through so we need to do some modifications there, which is another reason why I wanted to use it one good time because there's a couple little tinkers that I need to do that ramp and some other things I need to reinforce with, uh, tack them up and, and get them good and be ready to roll. So up top there's about, uh, I believe it was 12 foot, there's 12 foot uh, from front of there to 
to back here. So you got 12 foot up top, 12 foot at the bottom. And then back here, um, we have another 10 foot or so, or, or whatnot. Um, so we fit a little over 120 goats in here over the weekend, and we had room to spare up top, but everybody down low was pretty pretty tight, and they were, made, they were pretty much all older nannies. By older, I mean, you know, 70 plus pounds, so... Um, I'd say maybe about 130, 140 max could fit in here that are, you know, um, regular size nannies. Um, and then kids, hell, we could probably fit 200 kids in here. Um, so we're, we're pretty pretty excited, pretty happy about this. going to take a lot of, save a lot of time for us when we're moving pastures and whatnot. put new wheel or new tires on it so new tires all the way around I took the best tire and put it on the spare repack the bearings replace the bearings repack the bearings uh, we're gonna the only thing we got left is we need to um, replace all the brakes we need to put lights on it take all these old lights off put new lights on them wire it up function test the brakes and then uh, we'll send it off to get painted we're gonna get it painted white uh, I'll probably end up welding some square plates, some 4 by 6 square plates, maybe right here in the middle and on the other side uh, for our logo magnet deal that we have. Uh, I also have a gate that I, an 8 foot gate that I keep on the side which is not here right now. We used it earlier and um, we use that to go straight up that ramp. For the goats and it you know it doesn't let them go to the bottom or whatever but overall it was very successful we're very happy with how the first time getting the goats in there went we feel once they get trained a little bit better they will be more willing to go up that ramp and it'll be a lot quicker the only other thing i'm still going to do is i'm going to get some flex seal and i'm going to flex seal the top of that roof there's some spots in there that leaked i put some bondo on them and then i'm just going to flex seal the whole roof before we get it painted just to make sure whatever little leaks there are will get sealed up. That uh, top plate is pretty thin so I did really didn't want to try and weld up there and, and uh, fill those holes so that flex seal I've used it before in the past and it works great. Uh, but overall very happy with the work we did on this thing. It took us a little time but we saved probably $15,000 and it only cost us about two, two and a half days worth of work. So when we're all said and done. So that's all we got for you today. I just wanted to show you guys that double decker inside.